still in LA. My flight was delayed because something dealing with the aircraft control, air traffic control, something was going on with Vegas where um, a, a storm or something is coming in and they're trying to, something was wrong with the communication with the signal where, I don't know what's going on, but I had to book me a hotel. The next flight isn't going into Atlanta until tomorrow noon. So I'm here, booked me a room with my lovely hotel discount, $45. This is what I got for $45, guys. Nice little view, you know, amazing. My battery's about to die though, so I'll hit you guys later. I'm about to hit the streets to get some food to the seafood place next door. I'm about to find some way to enjoy my last day in Cali um, until I make it to Atlanta, so I'll talk to y'all later. So I just got off live, but I kind of want to tell y'all the same story that I told my Instagram live, if this would stay. So my flight was moved until today, which is in a couple which is in a couple hours and so yesterday I got into the uber I called me an uber to get to my hotel I got into the uber and it was this man he says he was from Argentina it was quiet but I ended up calling my grandma and I was just telling her like yeah you know my flight was canceled until tomorrow it was delayed until tomorrow so um, I just booked me a hotel luckily I have my hotel discount since I work for Hilton so um, I just booked me another room and you know I wasn't sounding irritated i didn't have an attitude i didn't you know sound ungrateful or anything like that or i didn't feel entitled so i got off the phone and the man just randomly said you know what i noticed about you and i'm like what's that he was like you're just a very positive person you're 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 so positive and you you have a great outlook on any situation whether it's bad or good and he was like, I admire that about you and I really want you to keep that about yourself and don't let people change you into not having that quality about yourself because it will take you a long way. And you know, it's crazy because I know that about myself, but to hear someone, two, 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 that's crazy. To hear someone acknowledge that about you, it really, what's the word? It, damn, what's the word? Verifies that not that I need validation but for someone to notice that and, and verbalize that to me I do have a good heart and I do have a good spirit because I could have had an attitude I could have cursed out the airport people like other people were doing like it's like the airport the flight attendants it ain't their job like it's not their fault it's not the customer service it's fault that our flights were delayed like yeah communication was horrible because they weren't telling us anything but it's like either you're gonna do that and waste negative energy when you could just find another way to deal with the circumstances or you just wasting your breath and you just being mad for no reason so he was just he told me some quote i forgot what the quote was but it was a very deep quote and it was really like eye-opening and he was just like yeah keep being an explorer keep being an adventurer um he was just like there's not many people out here like you and you know i really i really love your 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 aura you just have a clean like a clean spirit um but all that to say, just keep pushing. If you're going through a dark time, if everything feels dark around you, if everything feels like you're suffocating, if everything feels like you're just doing things and nothing is coming back to you, trust me. Trust me. You're going to see the fruits of your labor soon. And don't don't think that people don't don't think that people don't notice your good heart or don't think that people don't see you because there are so many people that actually see you most people don't say anything they just want to tag along and stick around but there are very few people that actually acknowledge hey I see you I hear you I was grateful to hear that from a stranger you know what I'm saying I met Roland for the first time y'all saw I met his mom and his mom was just like I love your vibe he has a pig and Roland was like, yeah, my pig, she don't mess with nobody. Like, she literally bites people's feet or whatever. And literally, when I saw his pig, she literally sniffed my foot and walked away. And then his mom was, like, shocked. Like, 
yeah you must have a good vibe because that pig like she do not like that pig and i'm just like man all that to say it's not that i don't know my heart because i know i'm a very positive person and i have an amazing spirit and you know i was very naive as a child and i was very in a cloud i've been in a cloud my whole life whether i'm in a dark space whether i'm depressed whether i'm not in a space that i want to be whether things are not moving fast enough um whether i get into situations i'm not supposed to be in whether i'm getting in trouble as a kid i've always been told by family by everybody oh you're always on this cloud like you're always in this fantasy world you're so naive you need to get thick skin cool all of that is true maybe i do need to get thick skin maybe i do need to be more in tune with reality but me being in this cloud in my own little world in my own little fantasy world my whole life i feel like it it has benefited me and it has gotten me to the place that i'm in now i'm not where i want to be i have so many more things to do but me being that optimistic fantasy world type of woo sa person it has protected my spirit it has protected my energy i can tap into that world that i keep so close to me um it, it just it's just protected me this whole time and i'm not ashamed because I've been called airheaded my whole life or, you know, naive to the dangers of the world, naive to how horrible and, and ugly people can be to you. And it's not that I, I was never aware that people can be so bad for you, but it's like I grew up seeing the good in everybody, the good in everything to where people just think I'm I'm just not in touch with reality. But now I see I see nothing wrong with that. Like I need to tap I need to keep that little small piece of me that I had as a child in order to help me maneuver around and 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 realize what good is, you know what I'm saying? And separate the good from the bad, but still see the good in the bad, if you understand what I'm saying. Because I see the good in so many bad situations. So I'm trying not to cry because I don't like crying on camera. I feel like a goofy right now. But um, all that to say, don't let anybody tell you um, that your dream is too big. Don't let anybody tell you that you're too much of a dreamer. Oh, oh, you you dream too much. Oh, you're you're too high in the clouds. Like come down to reality. No, stay in those clouds. Stay dreaming because the minute you stop dreaming. I mean, shit, the minute I stop dreaming, I'm not breathing because I'm dreaming every day. I, I'm trying to make my reality my dream. I'm I'm literally, first of all, I paid $45 for this hotel, which is crazy, but I just enjoy, even if I feel in a dark space or I feel like I want to give up or I feel like I don't want to, um, deal with certain things inside of me I still deal with it with a smile um, maybe I came out here for this break maybe I needed this break away from clocking into work stressing trying to get money to pay my rent like it's just crazy because God sends me things when I need them it's never when I ask for it which is okay it's never when when I ask for it I could ask for a million dollars right now which is really no not a lot of money if you think about it because this this world is expensive as it is but i can ask for a million dollars right now maybe let's say oh god give me a million dollars next week i never get it i never get it the next week but let's say a month later god will give me two million you know what i'm saying so patience is key um I said I wasn't going to cry, but it's just crazy because I still have not given up, bro. Like, I still have not given up. And it's just 
amazing how protected I am even when I don't feel the best or I or things don't make sense I feel like I'm here for a reason and I just know my life is about to change like you know when you just feel like something a moment in life is so calm but right after the calm I just know things are gonna elevate so heavily to where it's gonna be like all of this was for a reason all of the tears all of the 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 sleepless nights all of the letting go of people that I don't need all of the mistakes all of the the me losing my voice in sessions me me not having money to get groceries me not knowing if I'm gonna be able to pay my rent like God always sends me people that I need in my life when I need them I'm not saying I'm out here with nobody with no family with with nothing but throughout life I always literally felt like I was in my own bubble I was literally in my own world like I always felt kind of cliche but misunderstood to a certain extent because if people really knew my story they'll be like damn you really you really thug that shit out bro like <laughs> I ain't saying I had a horrible life. I'm not saying I had a horrible childhood, but there are things that I've been through that I'm sure people would, I don't know how people would deal with it, but all I'm saying is my journey is my journey and I'm going through what I'm going through for a reason and I'm never going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep elevating. I'm going to keep building my confidence. Um, I'm going to keep crying. Fuck it. I'm going to keep being a crybaby because i rather cry it out and not know why I'm crying rather than hold everything in and destroy myself inside. You know what I'm saying? So just thank God, y'all. Thank the universe. Thank whatever you worship. Not even worship. Whatever you believe in. Whatever guides you throughout life. Um, keep that small bit of faith in you. Um and just keep pushing. I'm grateful for all of the people who have helped me thus far, who believe in me, who give me words of encouragement, um, advice, who gifts me with, oh, here's lunch money, oh, here's this, here's that. I know God is sending me those people in my life because I need them at the times that I need them, you know what I'm saying? And best believe I'm gonna look out for everybody who's been there for me, even if you're not in my life at the moment, and you had a season in my life to where you supported me whether it was financially whether it was um love whether it was any season that i needed you and best believe i'm going to reach back to all of those people when i'm able to and take care of those people because that's just the heart that i have even if we're disconnected now even if you did what you did whatever you did to me whatever you said to me I'm the type of person that's still gonna look back and give to those people. It's a very long video and I have to get back um, <laughs> downstairs to board my flight soon, but I'm just grateful and I'm here, I'm well, I'm healthy, I'm alive, I'm learning every day, I'm growing every day, um, I'm working on my insecurities, I'm working on being the best me I can be, my highest self. I'm working on a lot and while I'm working on a lot, I'm keeping that positive mindset. I'm thinking bright, I'm thinking up, I'm never thinking down. When you don't have nothing, that's when you should believe you have everything. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And I might not be this superstar that I, that I know I'm born to be right now, but best believe, I'm going to get there soon and I'm preparing myself mentally to be able to deal with all of those things and I know it hasn't happened yet because God is still molding me. God is still um, having me learn lessons and there are honestly people that I probably still have around 
that God is waiting on me to let go of. And I don't even know why I'm saying all of these things, but when it's time, it's time. And I pray that I am, I know I'm strong enough, but I'm praying for more strength to let go of the things that I don't need. I'm praying for God to give me clarity on the things that I need to let go of. Um, yeah, just keep going, y'all. Know that you are blessed. Know that you are talented. Know that you can do anything that you set your foot forward to do. Don't believe in the naysayers. Don't believe in the fear of others because people will throw their fear onto you and have you doubt yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have people around you that are weird or that are are their vibe believe believe your intuition i'm telling you when you feel uneased around certain people believe that because nine times out of ten they're either jealous of you they either are upset because they want to be a part of every single thing or maybe they just don't need to be around maybe they're just stragglers so really pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I don't ask for fancy clothes. I was saying this on my live. I don't ask for fancy clothes. I don't ask for fancy cars. I don't ask for fancy jewelry. Um, of course, I want a life full of abundance, which I feel I have now. But the finer things in life, I feel like they will come with time you know what i'm saying with growth because things will come to you when you least expect it when you don't when you don't think you need those things because you don't need any of it it's all it's all for the look it's all fake all this social media shit is all fake man like that's why people be like oh do you know about so and so do you know about no i don't know about so and so because i'm still in my my bubble i've been in my bubble my whole life you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna end this video here um i hope this brought some type of encouragement to whoever's watching this i hope this brought some type of um clarity maybe if you're feeling down maybe if you're feeling discouraged i hope this helped you um i'm sorry for being vulnerable but i'm not sorry for being vulnerable because my vulnerability is my testimony it helps others and i know that's what i'm meant to do i know that's why i'm here and i'm learning and i'm achieving and i'm growing every day i'm learning things about myself that i didn't know so i love you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and you're gonna be okay you know what i'm saying you're a superstar whatever you want to be whatever you want to do do it but keep God first. I'll talk to you guys later.